How to get incredible, fake, but real sounding guitars. Next on Music Surgery with me, Dr. Bob. Hey, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of future videos. Also, there are tons of great samples from my personal library below in the description of every video. They're all pay what you want. And lastly, if you want me to work on your music, hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com. Sometimes it's hard to find a guitar player, the right guitar sound, the right guitar part, or the budget for all the above. There are many ways to solve these problems. Watch this. All right, guys, let me play this. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about what I used, and we'll talk about really who this video is for. Here we go. All right, so quickly, let me talk about the, who this is for. Uh, as you can see, I have guitars back here. I'm pretty good. I'm not great, but I'm good enough with editing to sound pretty good. It takes me a little longer than it would a really good guitar player, but I can play. For guitar players who are really good, they may think that they need not they, they don't need things like this to get the job done. And that's okay. As we know in music, there's a million ways to do this. But what I find with these instruments, even if I can play guitar and I have friends that play really, really good, they open up a different path of ideas and sounds that I wouldn't necessarily think of or the guitar player necessarily wouldn't think of that expand my musicality and my song. Um, so let me show you some applications. Part of this is knowing how to program, think like a guitar player, but it's also knowing the VST instruments to get for the kind of sounds you want. And I've done, I've bought a lot of things that I that are useless. I've demoed some that were great, and I found a cast of characters that I think are important. So what you heard, nothing was real. Bass, guitars, drums. Um, so let me start off playing the like the rhythm bed here of what this song is about, and you can see what's happening here. So these are like the left and right main guitars, and these are real um, PC, which is a Les Paul. Um, and... This is what they sound like, um, just soloed up. So now the thing is though, these are both through guitar rig amps. So when without going through an amp simulator, they sound like the plinkety plank of a uh, the sound of the guitar coming right off the guitar. Now, trust me, I've worked on a lot of songs, a lot of big songs that at the end of the day, when I've gotten the tracks to um, overdub or mix or whatever. Sorry, hang on real quick. Um, all I've heard was this. because they've used virtual amps. It might have been a real guitar player, but even the amps were virtual. And I'm talking about huge artists, huge hit songs. So one thing you can do too is you can render these to audio um, with the amp on or off. And you can, 
if you're if they're they're um, pan left and right, you can take one of them and maybe go ten milliseconds back for a little more spread, which would sound like this. So, sounds pretty great, especially in the track, but pretty cool. Now, I've doubled that an octave up with the same guitar. And this company makes a lot of... Um, actually, no, it's not the same guitar. My bad. It's a Rickenbacker. So, this company, Music Lab, makes a lot of this. Uh, they make strats and all kinds of stuff. So, for this kind of thing... Really cool. And again, those are through virtual amps. The next one I want to show you is a contact instrument. It called Nirvana Power Chords Strummer. Um, like I said, I've dug and dug and dug and searched for this kind of stuff. And that one, this one sounds like this. And my quantization was a little off, but you get the you get the um, you get what's going on. And the thing about this one is, it's not running through anything. That there is no amp on that, so that is what this actual plugin sounds like. So another one, it, you know. Great, sounds great. Um, next, we have another um, Rickenbacker playing this in the verse. Just the octave of the low ones here. Um, the same company, I think it's, what did I say, Music Lab? Music Lab Real Rick. Uh, and it is also going through a VST Guitar Rig 7 amp. Next, we have an eighth note guitar, which is called Rockin' Guitar Past to Future Reverbs. And this is a really cool sounding one. <laughs> Amazing eighth note kind of vibe. Um, and that one is coming right off the plug in. No amps there. Next, we have a clean high guitar. Now, there's a whole series of contact guitars. There's an electric sunburst, deluxe, an electric sunburst. There's one that's like mint green. They have some really, really great stuff. And you can go through, there's all types of different patterns that are played. And then you can go through in the voicing that you want. Um, so let me just play you this to kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Now we do have this one going through a delay, but there's a little bit of one on there and I think there's some effects that you can use. Um, I won't bore you with that. Uh, amps and effects right there. So reverbs, compressor, echo, all that kind of stuff. Now I can also, like I said, I can change the voicing. Super 
super great. And there's all kinds of patterns and different things that you can find in here that really, I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't have thought of that particular part and the odds of a guitar player thinking of that particular part are, you know, a million to one, but that's a cool thing. And there's, like I said, there's tons of them in here, tons of them. So that's, adding a little bit on the back of this verse, a little bit of a uh, clean. Great. Now back to another contact library, which there are a lot of. This is strummed acoustic. There are, there's a strummed, there are several strummed acoustics. There's one that has a 12 string. There's one that's a picked strum acoustic. But these are the same concept as the electric guitar, where you've got tons of different patterns um, that you can choose from to find one that works in your song or to write a song with. Um, this is straight eighths. Just something cool. I mean, you would never know that wasn't a real player if it was in a track. Um, you can change some presets, natural, doubling, warm, all that. Really cool. And then I found a different preset for the back half. It's called Britpop. You just go through these presets and see what you like. And this is what it opens up to the second half of that verse. Just typical acoustic strumming. It just has a little bit of compression on it. So, again, great sound. I mean, you can get it that fast without having to set up a mic and get your mic pre right in your levels and come up with the part and then you know play it and if you really want it to be tight edit it these are great tools to write they're great tools to have in a master and they're great tools that think of ideas or playback ideas that you may not have thought of so anyway there are more guitars than this um, but I don't want to, this video to go forever but Keep in mind the ones that I've shown. I'll put um, links in the description of the video to these because they're really, really good. And they just might take your music a different direction. Well, there you go. The further technology expands, the more convincing these types of instruments become. Remember, no one cares if the instruments are real. It's the song that matters. Thanks so much for watching. Give me some comment, love, and a thumbs up below. And hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.